Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Asad Yaqub and in this video in a straight forward manner I'm going to give you a study plan for IELTS listening. This study plan is more like how to study or how to do IELTS listening test. Okay? Now, as you guys know, we've got 16 Cambridge IELTS books. I mean, today it's 15th January 2022. If you're watching this video later and there is the 17th book, so don't blame me for that, okay? So what you need to do, you need to take a test. Let's talk about listening. Okay? You should take one listening test under strict examination conditions. For that, you can use your mobile with hands-free or bluetooth or whatever and put your mobile upside down on the table okay a mobile should be on aeroplane mode audio should be downloaded either from youtube or from any other source already okay uh, aeroplane mode mobile is there you are here and it's a good idea if you take the test from the book or otherwise you can print it out and you must print out answer sheets as well so that you could feel Uh, that you are really in an exam and in every house almost in every household we've got the small tables uh, we call them coffee tables any small table because in actual exam they provide you a table that is this big only so you should have that table chair and full mummy daddy environment for IELTS uh, test okay actual IELTS test Cambridge IELTS test so you should create that environment take one listening test in that environment and once the test is all done section 1 section 2 section 3 and don't take any panga with the audio that i i didn't understand let's go back huh i i couldn't understand that point i go back and i check that not at all don't touch the mobile if you're using bluetooth put the mobile away from you so that you don't touch it i mean out of your reach not at arm's length okay anyways now once the test is done transfer your answers to the answer sheet and for that use all capital letters okay and write your answers neatly and clearly on to the answer sheet listening answer sheet once you've done this thing take some rest stretch your body okay do some yawning oh, like that and then second step check your answers now you are the marker markers are those who check listening and reading answers you are the marker mark your answers tick and cross okay and don't cheat don't say okay a or b i wrote b right answer is a it's very close to that this is also correct don't do that okay <laughs> you'll be cheating yourself if you do anything like that you'll be cheating yourself okay once the marking is done right and you realize out of 40 i have 20 correct answers shame on you just joking no 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 not at all why shame on you i mean this is where you are at least you know where you are from 20 if your target band is 7 you have to reach from 20 to 30 if your target band is 8 you have to reach from 20 to 35 so at least it will tell you where you are Now the next thing is what I call debriefing. Now and for that you can use different colors, uh, blue color, green color uh, pen, blue, green, uh, and black. All right, like and red even you can use that color as well. Now at this stage you are going to go to each mistake and you are going to either play the audio again, if you understand that. if you realize your mistake if you understand the audio okay then it's good otherwise at the end of each cambridge book they have given a transcript they call it audio script or they call it transcript as well let me see what is the word that they have used yeah they call it audio script now if you don't understand it from the audio now you should go to audio script let's read it from there match it with the question and then see what the mistake was why you selected the wrong answer why other answer is the right answer this is what i call debriefing and when you debrief you need to reflect on your mistakes that aha uh -huh. okay now i understand 
so you need to reflect on your mistakes and after reflecting your mistakes make a very clear list that most of my mistakes are in section 3 multiple choice questions most of my mistakes are in part 4 when the audio is fluent so there i have more mistakes and if you have mistakes in part 1 try your level best set your targets in in part 1 i will get 10 out of 10 in part 2 i will try to get at least 8 out of 10 in part 3 i will focus on multiple choice so you can have a game plan that this is my plan and this is what i have to improve and you must do it test after test i mean like this if you take one test a day after 7 days or after 14 days you will see fantabulous difference in your reading skill in your understanding and in the number of correct answers if test 1 20 correct answers go on take at least 14 tests and after 14 tests you will see from 20 your right answers reach 30 34 33 31 like that okay so this is the best method best tip and by the way uh you can supplement this activity by watching my videos i have some some uh, playlists on youtube when you go to my channel instead of going to the videos there are 3000 plus videos go to playlist there you will find cambridge ielts book a uh, playlists according to the book like book number 1 test 1 book number 2 test 3 like that so take one test with me over there take one test on your own with proper debriefing with proper reflection and with proper rectification once you do this believe you me you can improve your ielts listening skills up to a pro level and then you will be able to start your own youtube channel ha huh? you will be able to become an ielts trainer this is how i became an ielts trainer All the best guys I also teach IELTS online all over the world and on campus here in Lahore if you want to be the part of my online or on campus IELTS classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that Asad Yakub truly wishes you all the best take care Allah Hafiz